I'm a jeweler and I would describe my work as a fusion of the tradition and the future. I was really early uh, interested in working with my hands, so it was an absolutely clear decision that I would like to do uh, an apprenticeship, really understanding materials, understanding how to make things. I'm trained as a traditional silversmith, so I work with my analog and my digital toolbox to create uh, avant-garde jewelry. I start with drawings, with sketches, you know, I find ideas around me. I use a program which I get a feedback from the computer and it's like a digital sculpturing. Also at the same time I set stones in a classical way, you know, I shape uh, metals in a very traditional way and at the end I combine them to create my jewels. I'm interested in creating volume without weight. For example, this piece is inspired by the V&A Gilbert collection and the main structure is printed. But then I also dye it later and combined it with proper pearls and gold elements. And you see it's a brooch, so it's absolutely easy to wear. For me it's also very important when the piece is printed, so I still use my traditional tools, color it, file it, you know, to give it a life. So that is very important, this interaction as well, uh, when it comes out of the machine. My favorite box in the Gilbert collection is the box of Frederick the Great. You know, it has this uh, kind of a little bit grotesqueness. It is beautiful and it's very colorful. You see this opulence and this exuberance, yeah? And you want to discover it, you want to touch it. You want to see how heavy it is, you know, how you can open it, how it looks like from different angles. When you look at Gilbert uh, porcelain snuff boxes, which are made approximately 18th century, where porcelain was something absolutely new. It's so interesting when you compare it with now. I, am, as a jeweler, have also the possibilities of using new uh, digital technologies and uh, you realize it is nothing new. It's a normal evolutional uh, process because you, as a creative person, have a creative mind and you want to explore and experiment and create and push the materials to the next level. So when I look at the Gilbert collection, for me it's very stimulating. It activates your imagination and fantasy. It's in a way a fusion of the future and the past. And I think to combine these two worlds are really exciting.